Jazz Bicycle. Amara was a girl with a dream. She had always wanted a bicycle. Not just any bicycle, though. Amara wanted the bright yellow six-speed bicycle that she saw in the window of Las Bicicletas. Every day, she and her papa walked past that bicycle on their way to school. Every day, she would stop in front of the window. She'd reach her hand out, touch the window, and whispered, Un dia? One day, her papa would whisper back, Un dia. Amara knew that she might have to wait a while to get her bike. She was the youngest of six children in her family, so everything she ever got was secondhand, always given to her by another member of her family. Her sister's old school uniform, her brother's shoes, her dad's old watch. But the bicycle? That would be hers. Her family were farmers, just like most of the families in their small village. No one had much money. Not many people even owned bicycles. It was so easy to walk everywhere in their village that no one saw the point. The village people would say, Una bicicleta? No es necesario que. A bicycle? You don't need that. One day, she and her papa were walking to school, just like every other day. Amara stopped and looked at her bike in the window. She sighed, reached out her hand to the glass, and whispered, Un dia. Her papa was silent. Papa. She asked. No, came the reply. No un dia. Oi. Not one day. Today, Amara squealed with excitement. Papa, is verdad? Dad, is it true? Go to school, he replied. Study hard and come right home afterwards. Amara tried hard to pay attention in school, but she was too excited. All of the children at her school would be envious of her new bicycle, she was sure. After school was over, she raced home as fast as her feet would move. When she got home, she saw her papa standing in front of their house with a big smile across his face and a blue helmet in his hand. Behind him was a bright yellow six-speed bicycle. Papa! Amara cried. Amara, he said, esta es tu bicicleta. This is your bicycle. Ride as far and as fast as you want, but be careful. A bicycle is a big responsibility. Be safe, try not to get hurt, and always wear your helmet. But Amara didn't listen very carefully to Papa's words. She was too excited. She grabbed her new helmet from her dad's hands. She hopped on her new bicycle and sped off, yelling, Si, sí, papá. Gracias. Yes, dad. Thank you. Amara raced away from their house. She loved her new bicycle. She could feel the cool wind rushing through her hair, blowing it behind her like the mane of a horse. She could feel her hands grip the handlebars, steering the bike left and right. She could feel the dips and bumps in the road, each one sending shock waves through her bike. She felt free, happy, and thankful for her new bicycle. She flew past her neighbors' houses, whizzing by so quickly that they looked like blurs to her eyes. She reached the edge of her village and turned around to go back home, but she didn't see the hole in the road. She was going so quickly that she didn't have time to steer around the hole. Thump! She hit the hole. Pop! Her tire popped. 
she flew off her bicycle and fell hard onto the road. Crack! Oh no! She tried to move her arm, but it hurt too much. A broken wrist. Amara didn't know what to do. She had ridden so quickly that she didn't realize how far away from her village she had gone. She could only see a few houses in the distance. She took a deep breath and yelled as loud as she possibly could. Ayuma! Help! A woman came running out of the nearest house. As she reached Amara, she knelt down and asked, Estas bien? Are you okay? I think you need to go to the hospital, and we will need to call someone for you. Whom can I call? Mi papa. Amara said. Then she cried. The pain was almost unbearable. She felt ashamed that she had gotten hurt. She felt ashamed that she had not listened carefully to her papa. She felt ashamed that she had not ridden her new bicycle safely. Papa met them at the hospital, saw Amara's broken wrist, and asked, ¿Qué pasó? What happened? Amara didn't want to talk. She was so disappointed in herself that all she could do was cry. The woman who helped Amara said to Papa, She fell. She has a broken wrist. But she will be okay. Papa sighed and then sat down next to his daughter. <sighs> Mi hija. My daughter, he said, I know you are feeling sad. You must feel like you did everything wrong, but you did not. You did something very right. Amara looked up at Papa with teary eyes. Okay. What? What did I do right? Her Papa smiled. You had an accident, you got hurt. But what did you do when you got hurt? You asked for help. You asked for help and an adult came to help you. She brought you to the hospital and now you are here with me and you are okay. That was the right thing to do, Amara. Amara sniffled then smiled. <laughs> See, Papa, but when can I ride my bicycle again? Discuss. How do the illustrations help create the mood of the scene?